Hey, Professor Home here. I'm going to try to download and install CyberDuck. And that's also .io. And I'll see if it goes to the website. For CyberDuck, it should have a big kind of rubber ducky thing on it when it goes to that website. There's the rubber ducky. I think we're okay. And I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to download the EXE version. And again, it should go into my downloads folder, but let me download that one for Windows because I'm on Windows right now. But there's my CyberDuck installer. It's about 16 meg. It's not real big, and it looks like it's done. So I'm going to try clicking on the installer down here and see what happens. And it's giving me a welcome to CyberDuck 4.6.3 setup wizard. That looks um, friendly enough. Doesn't look like any kind of malware or anything. So I'll hit next. And it says, it has this thing here, install Bonjour, known as Zero Configuration Networking. Uh, I don't think I need that. So I'm just going to hit next. And I'll install it in its default location. Okay, completing the Cyberdex, CyberDuck setup wizard. I'll hit finish. And there I see a little CyberDuck thing there. I'm going to right click on that and pin it to taskbar as well. I like to have them down here, just like on the Mac. Um, and then once you have it down there, you can get rid of this, because remember this is just a, um, a shortcut, which you can, you can get rid of if you don't want a shortcut on your desktop. And I'll hit yes, because I want to get rid of the shortcut. Now I have the shortcut down here. I'm going to click on this and I'm going to kind of see what happens. All right, the first thing that comes up is a new version of CyberDuck is available. Now it did bring up these older, um, when you first install it, you're going to have, you'll have a couple default bookmarks, or not bookmarks, they call, yeah, they call them bookmarks, that are here. They won't be these. These are student names, which I'll show you how to set these up. I'm going to put all the student names in there so I can connect, but I'll, get, I'll show you how to get rid of all these. So I'm going to go through and get rid of all of these bookmarks that I have here. I'm going to keep ones in mind so that I have connections to all of your your, your servers but if you have a couple there may be like a, a Google one and something else you could even like shift click on these and I'm just gonna I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna say delete bookmark and I'll just delete all these and don't worry I've, I've copies of these so I'll right click and delete bookmark delete and now I have no bookmarks. So you can get rid of all your bookmarks. And just so you know, up here, this little thing with a, like a, looks like a tuxedo with a tie or something. Those are the bookmarks, or maybe it's a bookmark. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what that is, but um, maybe it's not a tuxedo. But anyway, that's, those are the bookmarks. And that's how we're going to create, we're going to create bookmarks for ourselves. And I'm going to create mine for Joe Sample or Student Sample. Uh, I'll use that same method and then you could follow along. So let me, let me go here and for bookmarks, now that I have none, I'm going to go down to the plus sign and I'm going to add a bookmark. Okay, and what we're going to do, and you're only going to need one of these, so that's all you're going to need. So after you delete all your other ones, you could set set this up. And I'm just going to put, um, I'll just call it CSC230, and I'll call this one sample. Um, and you could call it CSC230 with your last name. Okay, and that's what I'm going to put in here. And that's just the name of the bookmark of how it'll show up up here. And then for server, what we're all going to put, and I'll give you instructions for this, but I'll put it in for now just so you see it on video. But we're going to put in www.wcccampusracket.com because that's the main directory that it's in. We're actually going to be working in the graphic design uh, subdirectory, but we have to put in the main directory first. So it's going to be wcc campus racket make sure you get the C's right and that's it WCCC campus racket.com and your username which is very important now I'm gonna use the sample one but these are all set up the same I tried to make them very simple um, you're basically gonna put in your last name and if your last name was sample or your last name was Davis or your last name was Prisco or your last name was Whitford you would put that and then you're gonna put the at sign almost like an email you're going to put your last name and an at, and then it's also going to be wcccampusracket.com.
We give it a nickname. We give it the server name, which is the campusracket.com. We give it your last name at wcccampusracket.com. You're not going to use an anonymous login. Uh, for path, you don't have to put anything. You, um, you shouldn't have to put anything in here. You shouldn't have to put, you could leave these as default. I think everything else should be okay. And I should be able to just close this up. It's not giving me an area to save, so I'm just going to close it up. And there it is. And what I'm going to do is to actually connect. It's not connected right now. It'll have a little green dot when it's connected. So I'm going to double click on it to connect. And now it's going to ask for a password. And you might say, well, what is my password? And here's your password. Your password is your last name 230, all lowercase. So in this case, if the last name, in this case, if the last name is sample, I'm going to type in sample and I'm going to put in 230. And if your last name was Smith, you're going to put in Smith 230 and so on. I'll try to make it as simple as possible. You could even save the password here so you don't have to do it again. So that's what it's coming up. That's the username. That's the password. And this should go directly to the directory I've created for you. And I'm going to log in. And if you get this message, um, just hit continue. Don't worry about changing it. Just hit continue. And that should be it. And I'm not seeing anything. That's because there's nothing in that directory. But that's OK. If I go back to, I see this little green thing. That means I am connected. And these are the files. I don't have any files in there yet. You, you are going to upload files to this directory. But right now, that little slash there means you have kind of an empty directory. And these are your files on an FTP server. So it's kind of a blank page waiting for you to have an index page, images, all that kind of stuff is going to be up here. So just remember, you're going to need to create a bookmark for yourself. You're not going to call it sample. You're going to call it CSC230 with your last name and you're going to set it up and I could right click here and do a couple things. I could delete this. I can edit it if I screwed something up. I can make a new bookmark and I can also connect a server. If you want to disconnect, they have a disconnect button over here, but I'm just going to hit edit bookmark right now just to make sure, just to show you this one more time. Um, you put in your nickname, you put in the main server directory, which I'll give you that information and your username is just your last name at, at the server. And then when you when you first connect, it'll ask you to put in your password, and your password is just your last name 230. All lowercase. I didn't put any capital letters in here to, to mess anything up. So that's all that you're gonna have to do. So this will what we're gonna use this for is we're gonna upload files to a web server. And you know, once we get to that point, we'll see it, but there's nothing to see right now. But this is the first thing you could do in Cyberduck. If you get to this point and you set this up and you set up your bookmark, you're in great shape.